What's going on, y'all? Hope all is well. Another episode of Convos with your CFP, Mario Payne in beautiful Florida. I know it's beautiful. It's vacation time. It's vacation time. We always like to do a family vacation. And this time around, we are headed to Greece. Yes, Athens to see all the ruins. Mykonos, an island off of Greece that's beautiful. And Santon Arani. If I pronounce that right, if not, my Greek profiteer is my apologies so that uh, the wife can have her long, long dress flowing as they take pictures over the seas. I heard it's beautiful. Definitely excited to go with our friends and family. So fun, fun times. But it made me think from an investment standpoint. It's ETS, exchange trader funds, and you can buy an exchange trader fund for basically any country you want to depending on the economics. So one to kind of go over the economics of Greece, is the Greece ETF a good investment or not? Before we get started, as always, like, subscribe, share to our channel. More information, the better we are as a people. Check out our ETF, L-E-T-B, let B, it's on the stock exchange, of course, the first black owned ETF that's all AI powered ever on the market. And also, we have our own investment app, Let Bob. But as we get started, let's check out what Greece got going on economically. Greece Lightning, no other better source than Barents, right? So, Greece's economy is on the men. What the US can learn from its revival. Oh, is Greece coming back? American investors probably haven't given Greece much thought since its financial collapse in 2008. Remember? They almost went bankrupt. They kind of did go bankrupt, right? They spent so much money, so, so, so much money that their Social Security or their quote unquote government pension went insolvent. Since then, though, they've bounced back like rubber. 2022, as you can see, despite the energy crisis and associated inflationary pressures throughout the year, the Greek economy grew by 5.9% in 2022. A lot more than our economy, right? So they are growing. Could that be a sign of the times? Is all of Europe kind of getting back to where they were? Or is it just a Greek thing? We don't know. But from an investment standpoint, are they a good investment? Well, let's look at the charts. Before we look at the charts, though, we always want to compare and contrast, right? Their biggest company, this is why America is so big and bold and wonderful, their biggest company as of March 27, 2023, had a cap of $6 billion. A lot of money. Very, very big. Telecommunications company, right? Uh, the most valuable company in Greece, according to CEO World Magazine. So a big company. $6 billion, $1 billion, two, no, Jay-Z said million. They talk about billions would it be compared to the U.S. What is our biggest company, you might ask? I talk about them all the time. Apple, 2.7 trillion. Again, Apple, 2.7 trillion, almost $3 trillion by Apple. Microsoft, 2.3 trillion. Then, of course, we have Saudi Arabian oil company getting to the bag at 2 trillion. Not an American company. Well, they're big. And then, of course, you have Alphabet, which is Google and Amazon and NVIDIA rounded it up almost at a trillion. So night and day compared to the Greek economy with their biggest company being six billion, which is still large compared to Apple, which is almost three trillion. So from an investment standpoint, what does that mean? Well, it is the ETF that's tied to Greece and ETF stands for exchange traded fund ETF exchange traded fund like a mutual fund but sold on the stock market, right? Growth potential, as you can see, following a strong rebound from the pandemic, Greece's GDP grew at a rate exceeding 5% in 2022. As we said, it's expected to continue on an annual rate of more than 1.5% from 2023 to 2026, right? The ETF targets a single country, and also Greek is the first and only ETF tied directly to Greece. So if you just have... One feeling that Greece is going to be rocking and rolling because of Giannis, the Greek freak, everything else they got going on, you want to invest. This is how you invest in Greece. Their performance, well, 
over the past year, right, up by 15%. What's the market done the last year? Hmm. Over the last five years, 3.57%. Three years, 24%. 10 years, an exception. Down. So I don't know. I don't know about Greece. And the holdings you asked, right? So these are basically the top holdings. Uh, these are companies that are based in Greece. These are Greek companies. So it gives you exposure. And that's the great thing about an ETF, right? You have exposure. From a diversification standpoint, you might say, I want to invest in Greece. And a certified, my certified financial planner might say, you can do Greece, but let's just do 0.5% or 1%. Got 100 grand, do $500. And let's see what happens, right? So as Greece is underperforming everything else like it has since this ETF has started, you're not really hurt. Now, if we compare this ETF to Apple, then yes, it would have been way better to buy Apple or Microsoft or Google or NVIDIA. So this is a play, I would think, from an aggressive standpoint, right? What if Greece, for whatever reason, pops off? What if Europe just gets way, way better growth-wise because of all the downturn they have with inflation and, of course, the war that is going on right now between Russia and Ukraine? This would be more of an aggressive play. As we look at the chart, ah, not good. Not good at all, right? Literally, look at this. Look at the high and look at the low, right? So look at that. Down 82% off its high, um, now at 52%. Now, if you're an optimistic person, hey, Mr. CFP, this is the best time to buy. It's down. If it gets back to where it was, how much you going to make? If we bought it today and it gets back to where it was, 116%. Now, will that happen? We don't know. When is it going to happen? We don't know. And that's the great thing about investing, right? We can take calculated risk, not dumb risk, but calculated risk. Definitely not recommending that you buy this ETF, G-R-E-K, but just an example of how we can profit from investing or how we can invest in something and it not make us no money. That's why it's important to talk to your local C CFP, your certified financial planner, or certified financial planner like myself. So I know one thing, I'm gonna enjoy vacation, gonna tape out there, enjoy the beautiful weather. I heard it's a tourist trap though, so that won't be fun. A lot of tourists, uh, we should have went the off time, but summertime when you got kids, you know you gotta do the summer thing in the summer, not in the fall. But you guys, comment below, right? Are we going to invest in Greece in the ETF? We're going to invest in other European ETFs that we think might grow as time goes on? Or I am American. Fight for your right. Fight for your right. And we're staying in domestic investments like Apple and Google, which is not a bad idea being diversified. But comment below. As always, stay safe. Stay healthy. Let's make some payable profits together, y'all. Peace. And you just wanna get paid. Uh, tired of making the money mistakes. Make a payment on your bills and you still late. Yeah, pay for profits to help you seek change. Uh, and you just wanna get paid. Yeah, tired of making the money mistakes. Make a payment on your bills and you still late. Uh, pay for profits to help you seek change. Yeah. Cut the show and just listen. You wanna feel empowered by making money decisions. Residual by the hours can get you a better living. Uh, been check the check. You know when it could be different. You know when.